A couple of things have happened. Before we get into today's all-important Champions League qualifier, excuse the, the green T-shirt, it was a mistake. A um, couple of small things. Uh, we have broken the national record for the sale of a player. Wasn't my choice. It was a release clause. I wonder who your mind's going to. Um, it's not Tackers, don't worry. And we've also broken the national record for the purchase of a player. Things have happened. I've gone a bit mad. I haven't even bought the player in the same position of the outgoing player. We'll fix that problem later on. It'll be fine. <music> Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back. So, today... We are playing the Rapid Bucharest in the Champions League playoff first round, first leg thing, second and second leg. Both legs, both legs. Okay, so things have happened. There is a slight, before we get to that, there is a slight worry that Tackers might be going. Um, we've had, he has an £80 million release clause and we've had bids of a total of about, 90 million, but a lot of it was spread out. They couldn't afford all the upfront money, so it didn't trigger the release clause. And it's Real Madrid, potentially. Um, can we... Yep, yeah, that's, that's fair enough. It's fair enough. I'm not even holding that against you, Taggers. But we have made a sale, and that sale, my friends, is Sergi has also gone to Real Madrid for £40 million. Like, sad sim go... But not like, oh, crushed. He's not like the most important player. I liked having such a tall bot bloke at left back as the inverted guy. His uh, physicals are amazing. And mentals are good and technicals are eh. So like, okay, we can live with that. We can live with that. So what do you do when you lose your important inverted fullback? That's right, folks. You spend £30 million on a right, back, on a right mid. Mm. But I have also signed Kaka. What do you do when you need to fill a couple of holes? You squeeze in a couple of Brazilians. And that's what we've done. So first off, we've got Kaka for 11 million. Here's our new inverted fullback on the left. As good as I could do, to be honest. Like I've said before, our attraction level is below, obviously, a lot of the big clubs. And so we have to kind of bring them in younger and then improve them. But we, but it, it's tricky. But I still think he's very, very good, and he's going to get better. I think he's a solid player. It's a minor step down from Sergi, but we also made £30 million profit from it. We did have to pay him 45 grand a week. But then, I was looking at the team. I was like, oh, got a bit of extra cash. What do we do with it? <clears throat> and I found myself a new right winger. Or, like, inverted... Inverted... What's it called? Oh, God, it got out of my brain. Inside forward. Fuck me. Um, and his name's Angelo. Got him from Andalect for £30 million. Probably overpaid a little bit for him. But he's got an actual, not an under-20 Brazilian cap, an actual Brazil cap. The reason I left, he's a good all-rounder, but the reason I liked him especially is because he, he's got amazing passing and vision and tries killer balls often. From that inside forward position, I think could be really, really good. Plays one-twos with his passing ability. Yes, please. It kind of all set up just sort of nicely for me, really. He is on 99 grand a week. <laughs> it was, we're stretching it now, boy. We are stretching it now. But I, I thought I'd treat myself. I don't usually go big on the transfer. Sadly, he can't play today because he's not registered in time. And Tackers has taken a bit of a knock. Um, we've started off the campaign fine. Did lose against Bromby. A dodgy penalty. Uh, but that's fine. At least we don't have to worry about unbeaten seasons and stuff. Don't have to stress about it. So, yeah, pretty happy. We've got Gasparini, obviously, that can also play there. He's unhappy because, what, he wants to go to Fulham. Doesn't like, do, you just not, do you just not enjoy Champions League football, Gasparini? So, um, and we've got the new guys. So, uh, Larson is going to be the one that's going to be leaving us. Uh, but f sadly, he's the only one fit at the moment. So, hopefully, he doesn't just throw us under the bus and get sent off in the second minute just to spite me. That would be nice. Right, we should be able to beat these boys. They won the league last year, but they don't rapid don't win it every year. It's like one in three. It seems to rotate. So hopefully they're not the, like the big dominant team like we are. We just brush them aside, and then give me those sweet sweet Champions League fixtures. Right, 
Let's do it, boys. Let's do it. Right, Ken, playing up top like the old days, mate. Pisky's done well. Noriyuki's just come back from a knock. Nelly Furtado is, is just a beastly man. Okay, not a bit more positive, guys. There we go. I did, um, I got, I think, I, I think I got a prediction right yesterday, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I got a prediction right. No, wait, I said 1-0 Croatia, didn't I? And it's 1-0 because it's right at the end. Bollocks. Okay, I'll give you the predictions for today. I say predictions, but they're actually what's going to happen because, you know, I'm so good at this. Um, France are going to be Poland 2-0. Netherlands and Austria is going to be a one all draw. Denmark and Serbia is going to be a one all draw. And England and Slovenia is going to be an England 3 I'm going to keep predicting England 3-0, right? I'm, go I'm in. I'm all in at this point. Go on, Ken. There we go, Ken. England are going to beat Slovenia 3-0. Because... Hear me out. They're going to play a winger on the left. <clears throat> I, I almost, I almost, I'm not, a, I'm not a football tactic man, as you, as you well know. I almost made a video because <laughs> I was so annoyed at how, how obvious England are playing, right? I, I don't, I'm not a fan of, you know, chucking somebody in midfield that doesn't play midfield. Um, but if you are going to play Trent in midfield, I'm not going to go on a 20-minute rant, I'm sure you, you, you... But I just want to say one thing. If you're going to play Trent as a, mid, as a sort of DM quarterback type for his passing ability, that's why you've got him in there, okay? What you then have to do, if you're going to do that, you pick people that run. Because he's like that long crossfield ball is what he's famous for, but the, your long crossfield ball is against... Is to, to the left-hand side is going to be Phil Foden, who isn't going to be there because he likes to cut inside, Right? Or Kieran Trippier, who doesn't have a left foot and just cuts back straight away. And then Harry Kane, who drops deep. So if you decide you wanted to play Trent in midfield, which I think is perfectly doable, you have to then make the tactic to work with that. You can't just pick him because he's... Go on. You can't just pick him because he's there, like because he's good, and then go, well... Oh. Not, I, don't, I can't work out why it's not working out. It's just the, the most brain dead, like genuinely worrying. I know crap all about tactics, and I'm sitting there going, "How are you not seeing that? Bonkers, absolute bonkers." Um, anyway, all right, two nil up, boys. Back man can have uh, twenty minutes. He's had a couple of sub appearances. Got his first goal, which I'm quite happy with. Uh, Zeke will come in just a bit more solidity in the midfield. Do we risk a bit of a uh, caca? Right. Start off a little bit wobbly first 20 minutes, but then we grew into the game. Let's not concede a goal, Pavel, yeah? Let's keep it tight in this packed crowd. Nice one, Ken. Back man. Oh, lovely touch from Larson. In what's probably his final game for the club. Backman. Zeke. Backman. Okay, that is a cross, apparently. That was a cross. I'm like, that's a weird shot. And it's, all, it's a bad shot or a bad cross. It turns out it was a bad shot. <clears throat> Are we rapid? I've just seen another rapid. I'm, I'd assumed it was... Bucharest, is it? Go on, Ken. Oh, Ken. Oh, back in the striker role, back in the goals. I don't know, honestly, don't... I don't know what we're going to do if Takas goes. Because there's no way I can remotely replace him well enough. Like, it's going to be a big downgrade because I can't attract those sort of players. So... That is my biggest worry right now. We just need to keep our heads down and hope for the lack of bids. Because 80 million is great, but I can't spend it. So it's irrelevant. I just need good players, not money right now. Right. A nice 2 3 nil. Eight days. There we go. Win. <clears throat> Kaka makes his day. Ken doing Ken things. Ken is a legend. No, yeah. obviously it's dropped off. He's playing that number ten role a bit, um, but still getting put in good ratings. He's got slowly worse. His goal scoring has got slowly worse, but he's moving back. He's like a 
Rooney. He'll be playing in DM in a couple of years. Right, on to the... We've got a game in between them against so our good old friend. Um, and then we'll be playing in the second leg. Away from home, 3-0 up. Easy. We are dodging bullets. Uh, transfer bullets, that is. A lot of players. It's... And then seven, eight of the team kicked up a fuss because they said we need more strength at left back. There's no option to say, like, I've got a guy who's a left back. I just need to train him in that position. Sadly, no option for that. But we did win our game against Frem pretty comfortably with a 3-1 win. Right. It's time for the debut. He doesn't know the position like that's ever mattered. It's a myth. Absolute myth. Uh, our youngsters... Injured, Cockax back from injury. How's the fitness boys? Good. Arrested Mr. Pisky for this. And Zeke can come. We'll make sure we'll play strong. We'll go strong and make sure we get this done. Four Brazilians now. Whew. Uh everything else is good. Are we all good, boys. Gonna have some very unset set upset centre back sooner or later trying to keep them all happy again Kiss is upset anyway he's already upset so I might as well just drop him because he's upset alright but Takas is back it's hard to drop <laughs> for Tardo because he's oh, poor Ken he has only scored in one game so far this season you know right I'll give you a debut you a debut your training let's see how Mr Angelo does the, very similar to player to um, Furtado. They could they could fashion a beautiful little partnership. Right, get it done. I want a good performance from Kaka and Angelo, and I want to survive to the end of the transfer window without losing a massive player. I'm kind of scouting all players at the moment. I'm like. Okay, I need scouts in case ta Tackers goes for 80 million. I need, I've got a striker that... Um, guys? Um, I've got a striker that isn't obviously nowhere near as good, but I think would be fine. I need a defensive midfielder in case others go. Okay, we are 1-0 down after three minutes. Don't want to panic anyone. Go on, go on. Oh, Hugo's done really well there. Pisky. Lovely to have him back. Kaka. Round the corner. Tackers! Think he might be offside. I think I saw a flag. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You've spooked him, though. Oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. It's going to be fine, right? It's going to be fine. Only seven minutes in. Well, decent ball from Kaka. Hugo. Hugo. Oh. Rios, centre-back's out there. Zeke. Pisky! Oh, still looking for his first goal. We know it's going to come sooner or later. He scored a few for us when he was here the first time around. All right. Settle down now. Settle down. Everybody just settle. Time, time, time. Right, Kim. Out wide. Out wide. Look. There, 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 there. Over there. Okay. Straight through the middle. Pisky. Angelo, lovely first time ball, lovely touch from Tackers. Oh, 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 that was beautiful. That's that through ball. That's a cheeky little through ball from Angelo. That's what we want from him. If they score from this, it will be worrisome. <sighs> no, it's fine. <laughs> this is this is not how I expected this to go. Oh, they're, they're taking the piss out of us a little bit here, lads. Wake up. Settle down, boys. Settle. Relax. Keep the ball for a bit. Hopefully they've spent their entire load in this first half. And we'll just comfortably beat them in the second. Here you go. Back post. Noriyuki's been all right this season. He had a little knock, but in the games he's played, he's been okay. Not sort of setting the world alight like he did points last season. Heavy touch. Kaka cleans up. There you go. Look, look guys. See? He's a left back now. They've not got little labels on them. If they'd come to me in real life and said, we need a left back, I'm going to see that guy there that I've just signed. He's a left back. 
Don't mind. Cack has there if needed. That's nice. That's nice. Yes! Okay. And breathe. Relax. Woo! <clears throat> needed that. Right. This is... I've got a good feeling about this season. I think we've strengthened... I think I think Angelo could be a very important player for us. It's an upgrade because the problem with the two Danish guys we had is that I bought them in. They're both heavily right-footed. They're both just quick wingers, but I'm not even playing wingers anymore. And they're both fine as an inside forward, but that's not not ideal. I would like them to have a stronger left foot. I obviously ideally you'd I'm happy to have right-footed right inside forwards, but I want them to have a decent left foot. And uh, so I think I think that could be a step up as long as Kaka can cover for Sergi, but we do have Gasparini as well, who I know is good, so he can play that role perfectly. So I think, uh, and once he's over his unhappiness, that's the thing in this game. A lot of the time, you get, especially when you're a smaller club, you'll get unhappy players, whether it's lack of first team football or not, usually not letting them leave. Is usual, but most of the time I found they don't play any different. I guess that's like a level of professionalism, and also that they'll get over it after a bit. <laughs> so if you really want to keep someone, just keep them. Um, hmm. Hmm. You know what, Tackers, we're not going to do it. Do not alarm anyone. They are two one. Just twenty minutes though, right? They have to score two. It's not going. It's not going to. Be a problem. Um, you know what? If both the big boys aren't playing well. They like, get off my pitch. Get off my pitch or their pitch. Get off their pitch. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, that's a late one. <laughs> send it. Send in and sent it, and absolutely clattered him. I, I kind of get it because you're trying to... You've got to score two goals in 15 minutes, right? You've got to just go for it. Just try and win the ball back. Well, at least that chills out. Okay, this is not a good performance, though, boys. This doesn't bode well. I like Angelo's like, first-time balls. He seems to be doing that quite a lot. You go, that's a lovely ball. Norrie. Yeah, it just opens his body. Boo. It's fine. It's fine. I would like to win, though. Like, a draw, at least a draw. Not lose, please, guys. He could pull down the line. Angelo. Nice. Every time he's got it, he's looked solid on the ball. He hasn't... We haven't seen him lose it. Oh, is that dirty, Ken? That is dirty. You dirty boy, Ken. Is that Backman Ken linking up? Have a look, Pisky. Oh, little stabs it on the outside of his boot and Ken just little lifts it over. There we go. One more, boys. Okay. Gelling as a team. We're still gelling as a team. We've got a few new players. So I'm not too... Disheartened, we rode the early storm and we got through it thanks to their stupid two footed lunge. So all is good. And now we are there. We are once again. That's it, right? Okay. Here we go. Who we got? I never know what's good or not. I'm like, eh, eh. it's just you, about the same as always is. Um, look forward to going to Barcelona though and AC Milan. All right. There's like AZ beatable. Leon, tricky. Winnable. Eh. Winnable maybe because it's home. Tricky. Winnable. Winnable. Tricky. Again, we probably need a better start. Right, I don't want I don't want this season to come down to Champions League playoffs to decide our thing. So I want to finish top eight. Okay, I'm going to finish top eight. It's going to happen. 
please. Right, there we go, my friends. Enjoy the football tonight. If your team is playing, good luck. Unless you are from Slovenia. Sorry, but I I need England to play well. It's not even we don't even need to win. Well, to help top the group and stuff. I just I just want to see it. Good players do a good thing on on a football pitch. It's not too much to ask, is it? Thank you very much for watching as always. See you next time. Bye bye.